Welcome to Rural University's Support Tutorials video series. This video covers creating graphics in Adobe Illustrator with Metallic Silver and Roland Metallic Spot Colors. In Adobe Illustrator, we'll begin by opening three different swatch color libraries that support Metallic Silver. The first one we'll select is going to be Roland VersaWorks. The second swatch library we'll select is called Roland Metallic Color, featuring 12 metallic spot colors. And the last one we'll open is called the Roland Metallic Color System Library, which features an additional 500 metallic spot colors to choose from. Let's take a closer look at these colors in the individual palettes. In Roland VersaWorks, the first color we'll notice is actually the Cut Contour Swatch which enables us to create cut contour lines on graphics. The second color we can select is actually RDG White. And the last color is RDG Metallic Silver, which prints with Metallic Silver ink only. We'll begin with one of the standard shape tools in Adobe Illustrator, in this case, the Star tool, to create an object that will apply Metallic Silver. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key to constrain the shape of the object as I draw it. And this will be my basic element that I'll be working with to apply the metallic silver spot color. Now I'm going to select this object and right now it doesn't have metallic silver just yet. It just has a standard gray fill in CMYK. But now that I've got the object selected I'm going to be ready to apply the color. So while my object is still the active selection I'm going to select in the Roland VersaWorks palette, RDG Metallic Silver, which fills it with 100% of that color. In addition to RDG Metallic Silver, the Roland Metallic Color Library includes 12 primary metallic colors, starting with Gold, MT Silver, which is different than RDG Metallic Silver, Bronze, Titan Black, Olive, Green, Cobalt, Blue, Navy, Purple, Violet, and Maroon. These colors are made up of CMYK and Metallic Silver. We're going to apply the spot color RVW MT Silver which is a darker silver than the original RDG underscore metallic silver. We're going to select the object on screen again and this time we're going to select a different color. We're going to select from the color palette RVW MT Gold. And of course once we click on that swatch the star color changes instantly to the RVW MT Gold. Let's take a look at the Roland Metallic Color System Library located at the bottom of our screen now in Adobe Illustrator. The Roland Metallic Color System Library includes the 12 primary metallic colors listed in the palette above for convenience. But this palette really begins with RVW MT01A. This palette consists of an additional 500 metallic colors to give you a wide range of what we call standard and light metallic colors. And you can see that there's a range of blue, green, gold metallic colors in the palette and it ends at RVW MT25K. We can change the view of the palette by selecting for example the medium thumbnail view which gives you something a little bit easier to work with when you're trying to scroll through a series of metallic colors or even the large thumbnail view you may find it to be more convenient to work with. And certainly, last but not least, the small list or large list view gives you the list of names in numerical order of the metallic colors in your palette. So we have a lot of different ways within Illustrator to view these swatches and see them listed in numerical order to find the right color that you're looking for. Now we're going to select the gold star again and we're going to apply one of the other colors from the Roland Metallic Color System Library. 
Now the gold tones are listed at the bottom of the list starting around RVW MT24A. And in this case, the color I'm looking for is RVW24E. And you'll see on screen that has a different appearance, but certainly when you print these two, you may notice a slight difference in the gold tone. So it's a great idea to print the chart on whatever media you're gonna be using most often. Now what we're gonna do is just really select the star one last time and return it back the original color that we started with this tutorial video and bring it back to RDG Metallic Silver. Creating gradients with Metallic Silver. Now we're gonna show you a technique for creating gradients with Metallic Silver. And if you don't already have it open on your window, you wanna to go to the main menu and select Gradient. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this a linear gradient and you can see that the gradient window changes and I'm going to select RDG Metallic Silver for my end point in this gradient. I'm going to drag it over and you'll notice that in the gradient slider the end value has changed to Metallic Silver and it's 100% opacity at the 100% location. Now we're going to select RDG Metallic Silver again and bring it over to the left side of the gradient at what's called the 0% location. But right now the value is 100%. So to change that, we're going to go over to the top in the color swatch window and drag that over to the left. Now, normally you'd create a gradient and possibly bring it all the way over to zero, but for metallic silver, it's really best to set your gradient beginning point at 40%. Otherwise, you're not going to have much of a metallic effect but you can set it lower if you want to. So I'll set mine at 40% and what we'll do now is we're going to look at that value and now our gradient really goes from 40% to 100%. And when I now click on my gradient, you notice that the star in the window here has changed to reflect that gradient value from 40% to 100% metallic silver. And what you can do also is now that you've created this gradient, you can just drag it over into your swatches and it'll be there for this document when you need to uh, go back to it and possibly make changes or use it again. This concludes our support tutorial video. Please refer back to this or other tutorials for more tips on how to improve your Roland workflow and visit RolandDGA.com for more information.